Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have ourselves a 1v1 on Kolotny Firma. Our heroes today are going to be Cruz, playing for the Soviets, and his opponent is going to be Jessalyn, playing for the Germans in the red. Both of these players, rather good. Very good, in fact, I shouldn't even say rather. <laughs> Extremely good. Uh, so we should have a very good fight in our hands. Uh, Jessalyn, one that we're looking at right now, is currently ranked at the time of casting this, believe it or not, number one in both Soviets and Germans. Number one. On both. Ridiculous. Yes, I agree. But he is number one on both. Maybe a little bit different by the time this one comes out. I don't know. But at the time of casting, yeah, number one. So, best player right here, so whatever. Uh, anyways, um, Cruz, I mean, uh, well, obviously he's not number one, but he's no scrub himself. At the time of casting this, he holds the rank for 11th on his Soviet play, which we're seeing right now, and his German is 9th. So, ridiculously good players here. I mean, I would only dream of being that good. Anyways, while things go underway... Nothing really exciting happening. Let's take a look at those uh, bulletins. Uh, Cruz is going for, you know, conscript uh, buffs. He's got the 5% cooldown, the 3% accuracy, and the 2-2 split. And ooh, he sent these combat engineers back, apparently. Not sure. Um, so yeah, just buffing out his conscripts because he's going to use conscripts, you know, throughout the entire game. So not a bad idea. And for Jessalyn, he is similarly doing the same thing. However, he is putting a 4% increased rate of fire on his MG42. The other ones are the 3% reload and the 3% accuracy that applies to Grenadiers, even though the little icon there looks like it's Conscripts, but no, it says Conscripts and Grenadiers. So, yeah, not bad. Conscripts and Grenadiers finally engaging for the first time in the center of the map. We have a little bit of a skirmish here, but nothing really exciting happening. We do have a second Grenadier squad moving in for support. It's going to jump into the church. I think they are able to shoot him from there. So we'll be able to duke it out a little bit harder. But the conscripts do capture the point, And they're just going to continue along their way. They're not going to stand there and fight. Uh, Cruz went for... Ooh, tier 2. Interesting. So Cruz opened up with three conscripts. And then backed off his combat engineers and built tier 2. Right at the edge of his base. Which I like quite a bit. And uh, we'll see what he gets from that. Or if he's just trying to tech up really quickly. Although, usually when you see people tech up very quickly, you see tier 1. But yeah, I'm sure he's going to get something from that. Uh, anyways, for Jessalyn, he goes tier 1 like you would expect. Three Grenadiers and an MG42 on the field. Two Grenadiers currently down south. Actually, no, it's just one Grenadier in the Pio. Have a Grenadier behind the lines going for the cutoff over here. However, the center victory point is currently in the possession for Cruz. So he has this little path here connecting the munitions. And then the munitions connect the fuel. So even though uh, Jessalyn captured that point, it's not actually cutting off anything just yet. So a little bit unfortunate there. Same thing would happen down south with this point. If you have the victory point and the munitions down south, uh, you know, you would still connect it through this. But it's a little bit harder considering the positioning. So small engagements all over the place. Nothing has really happened so far. Engagement up in the north. Grenadiers and conscripts duking it out in the fuel. The conscripts win the fight. Grenadiers are forced to retreat. And we see Maxim machine guns coming into the field for Cruz. One already out, second one being produced, about to hit the field in a second or two. And pop, there it goes. Coming down the uh, down the road there. So interesting choice there. We'll see how that uh, pans out. Pio's retreating from the uh, south. Grenadiers poking into the center. MG-42 set up in the middle of the road to cover the victory point. Conscripts trying to go for the church up top. The MG-42 packs up and moves out of the way. Maxim Machine Gun moves into support, gets into the house, and opens up on the Grenadiers. Grenadiers are forced to retreat. They do vault over the fence before retreating, but they did lose the church and were being suppressed, so not a bad retreat there. Conscripts up in the, nor eh, up in the north, capturing the strategic point, while at the same time, a Grenadier squad at two men is going for that victory point up in the north. Grenadiers pop into the house. MG-42 opens up at the church, but the guys in the church will be relatively fine against that. Combat Engineers for Cruz with Minesweepers. Very nice. Anticipating some type of mine play here for Jessalyn. We uh, have seen... Ooh, Demolition Charge getting laid down here by uh, by Cruz. Very sneaky. We have seen S-Mines being utilized uh, quite uh, frequently now, which is a nice thing to see. 
So it's not a bad idea for Cruz to get the uh, Minesweepers. Because uh, those build really fast. Maxim Machine Gun pops a little bit further and gets himself in that shack. It does... Yeah, it does actually have enough sight range on that MG42. MG42, however, packs up and moves out of the way. Combat Engineers capturing that munitions, hide themselves behind the uh, hedge, and there's still that demolition charge waiting. Grenadier Squad pushing forward, gets caught by the Maxim Machine Gun, and a second Maxim Machine Gun pushes forward. Nice little leapfrog, leapfrog tactic there for, um, for Cruz. And the MG42 down south opens up on the Maxim Machine Gun, managing to get a suppression. However, wow, that is very aggressive there for... Uh, for Cruz, he actually goes and builds a mine right under the MG42. MG42 retreats, which is good because that might have detonated the, uh, the mine, but whatever. Tier 2 now down for Jessalyn. Gets himself a half track. Very strong. Ooh, going for two half tracks. That is very interesting. I've not seen that as of this point. I mean, I've seen multiple half tracks as in replacements, but not two on the field at the same time. So it's very interesting. I like that. Trying different things. I like that. Maxim Machine Gun getting uh, a little bit flanked, I guess you could say, by by the uh, half track. Half track pops. Flamethrower right on top of the Maxim Machine Gun will be able to do a lot of damage. Backs off a little bit to get a good angle. Second half track barrels down the road. Maxim Machine Gun is forced to retreat. Second Maxim Machine Gun packs up and moves down the road. Might be needing to retreat as well, but we do have an AT gun on the field for Cruz. Those uh, half tracks are in a lot of trouble. They push forward trying to get outside the arc of fire of the AT gun. One takes a shot, second one gets behind, and the AT gun is now flanked. The flamethrowers go off, and the half tracks move out of the way. Very maneuverable vehicles. AT gun still trying to get in range, and a Maxim machine gun goes down on the retreat. While the Grenadier squad is pursuing that, uh, that AT gun, AT gun getting burned. Down to five men. Very, well, not very healthy, I was going to say. A lot of men on that squad, even though it's taking a lot of damage. Conscripts push forward, flamethrower goes off, burns two of them alive. Forces them to back off, and the AT gun manages to set itself up in a different position, covering the entire approach. So those half tracks are forced to back off. One did take quite a bit of damage. Second one took a beating to an 1880, looks like. And the uh, the conscripts try to hold the line. Maxim machine gun is still there in the on the floor. I'm pretty sure Jessalyn though is going to pick it up. He does have half tracks on the field to be able to reinforce. So I see no reason why he wouldn't. Down south, we have a conscript squad behind the lines. It looks like Jessel I mean, uh, Cruz is actually trying to bait Jessalyn with the demolition charge. There goes the half track, and not close enough. Detonates a guy, killing a squad. Did it actually kill a squad? Yeah, I think it actually killed the Grandier squad. And the half track did take a little bit more damage. Another 18-8 goes off, but the half track remains alive. So, unfortunately, there for Cruz, the little bait there did not work out and the piles are going to move down and repair the half track just as well sneaky maneuver there trying to uh lure it there having the uh squad out in the open looking like, like a very enticing target do you need something all the troops for cruz moving up to the north Conscripts, Maxim Machine Gun, Combat Engineers, even the AT Gun. Currently we see Jessalyn just capturing in the north. Two Grenadier squads, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. We have another Grenadier squad down south capturing while the half-track gets some repairs. And we have Tier 3 down for Cruz, getting himself a T-70, which is not a bad choice considering the investment that... Um, the investment that Jessalyn has done into those half-tracks, meaning that it is very unlikely that he's going to have anything heavy right now so that t70 will do a lot of work and could potentially take out the half tracks one half track still unupgraded not sure if that's deliberate or because of the lack of munitions but well probably part of the plan and the combat engineers up north gonna run into some grenadiers maxim machine gun moving in for support maxim missing uh, maxim machine gun sets up what is up with my tongue today rifle nade going down on the maxim machine gun Gets nailed. Two men go down. Grenadier squad does, however, get suppressed. This man is right at the edge, even though the arc of fire shows as if he wasn't. Well, the game, I suppose, is a little bit more lenient. And the Grenadier squad gets taken down. Hands of Grenadiers in the center, forced to retreat due to the T-70. The T-70 is on a roll. She's chasing down everything, 
Even the half-dark is on retreat. The Panzer Grenadiers are apparently the primary target here for Jessalyn. He's trying to take down that squad. Pretty sure he's going to be able to do so. The squad is getting stopped by the tank itself. There we go. Panzer Grenadier squad goes down. Grenadiers get in range for a Faust. Faust will go off, get the crits on the engine. But the T-70 has done its job, taking care of that Panzer Grenadier squad forces. Uh, Jessalyn to be a little bit more defensive. He lost the big amount of firepower there against infantry. And uh, the half tracks can't really go that bold now. He does get himself a pack gun. Try to fend off that T-70, but even the pack gun is very easily taken care of by a T-70 as it can easily just flank around it if it's not supported properly. So it's not a uh, it's not an insta counter. It's just a deterrent. Up in the north, combat engineer is going to get some repairs going on that T-70. Grenadier squad and MG42 running into that T-70. The T-70 continues to shoot. The Grenadiers will get in range. Rifle nade going off on the combat engineers. No, it actually looks like it never went off. Did it actually hit? Well, second Faust goes off on the T-70. The T-70 a little bit damaged. We do have an AT gun on the field. The AT gun is down south in the road, however, so the T-70 has not a lot to fear. Half-track taking some shots from the T-70, actually trying to lure the T-70 into the range of the AT gun. AT gun is in range and takes a shot. Down goes the T-70. Nice little bit of uh, luring there by Jessalyn. Conscripts forced to retreat. Flamethrower half-track still alive even if it is damaged. The combat engineers up north just sitting around. Maxim machine gun capturing that victory point. AT gun moving up to the north. Not exactly sure why it's up there. I suppose Cruz is going to try to set up his uh, front up in the north. Center point getting captured by Piles, also with Minesweeper, so very nice. Both players actually getting Minesweepers, so very intelligent. I mean, I guess, you know, Jessel is the number one in both factions for no reason, right? Maxim Machine Gun pushes down south for Cruz. Gonna try to recapture the southern portions of the map. And the conscripts are running out, although one of them did not even get reinforced. A little bit, uh... Impatient there for uh, Cruz. Wants to have stuff on the field very quickly. And the combat engineers for Cruz are laying down things all over the place. Doctrines have been selected for both players. In fact, I never actually mentioned, but uh, Jessalyn went for the close air support doctrine, as we saw a recon flight being uh, used earlier on. And Cruz goes for the shock rifle frontline tactics and get himself a shock rifle squad right now. So very nice. Mine's also getting laid down all over the place for Cruz, which is very nice to see. But again, there is a Minesweeper on the field for Jessalyn, so those might be uh, detected. However, they are a little bit up to the north, so it's a little bit uh, uncertain. Maxim Machine Gun opening up as much as it can on that half-track, managing to do a decent amount of damage. It brings it down to about half health as the flamethrower goes off. Do both half-tracks now have flamethrowers? No, that one is still a vanilla one. And the uh, Maxim Machine Gun continues to push forward. Conscript on top of Grenadiers. And we see a strafing run coming down here for uh, Jessalyn. Right on top of the Conscripts. Gets a pin on the retreating squads, which is... I'm not sure if that's intended or not, but... Well, there they go. Continuing the retreat. But it is a... Uh, unexploitable piece of... Uh, well, not piece, but an exploitable little... Uh, maneuver that you can do, and that is to, you know, suppress a retreating squad, which means it's going to stop in its place and finish it off if you have units in the area, but, well, you know, it does take a little bit of coordination. Hell or mine right there in the center for Jessalyn. Half-track also in the center, just harassing the uh, infantry. MG-42 also getting a suppression off on those conscripts. The conscripts crawl out of range as the Maxim Machine Gun manages to get the suppression. Ah, sorry, suppression on the MG-42. Over here on the far right, we have combat engineers laying down some more mines. Grenadiers are going to run right on top of the mines and potentially detonate, in the, detonate them on top of the combat engineers. Combat engineers need to retreat. Uh, they are just sitting there, taking the shots in the face. And there goes the retreat. And the grenadiers run into the mine. Nice hit. Down goes two men. But they'll stay on the field and capture the point, no doubt. Tier 3 coming down for Jessalyn. We have had Tier 3 down for Cruz for quite a while, but he did lose his T-70 quite quickly. So it um, 
stands the reason why he doesn't have anything. And considering the doctrine, I'm assuming he's probably going to be waiting for this. I mean, he is very near the fuel for one, and he, uh, AT gun is ready for combat. he, I mean, he needs a little bit more manpower, but yeah, I mean, he has enough fuel, so yeah, I, I think we're probably going to see a KV-8. Currently, Cruz has not seen anything as far as, um, tanks go, but, well, we do see that Tier 3 is already down, and a Panzer IV is being produced. KV-8 will die to a Panzer IV eventually, but it is quite difficult for the KV-8 to die, you know, if unsupported to the Panzer IV, especially since uh, Cruz actually has two AT guns, so he should be fine. Where's the second AT gun, in fact? Ah, oh, there it is, right in the center. Another strafing run down in the south, getting, um... Nothing, actually. Oh, gets the suppression on those shock troops, but the shock troops are going to be able to uh, get back up. Grenadier squad getting assaulted by conscripts. The conscripts push forward. The half track backs off. Grenadiers getting reinforced on the fly. Second half track moves into the zone. 18-8 goes off on one of the half tracks, but the flamethrower comes in, forcing away the conscript squad. We have another conscript squad behind that, and the shock troops are there as well. The conscripts will be able to throw an 18-8 off on this half track. Gets the crit on the engine, forces it to back off, and the uh, conscripts back off as well as they can't really get too close to that half track. Otherwise, they'll be burned. Panzer IV, moving down. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. We see AT guns moving down south to try to deal with those. A lot of infantry. That's a lot of infantry flooding down here for Cruz. He is going all in on getting those half-tracks killed. Flamethrower half-track currently getting repaired by Pyos. Conscripts push forward. Shots fly and land on the conscripts, killing three of them by the Panzer IV. The Panzer IV is there. We do have AT guns set up already. Uh, both AT guns, in fact, although they could do with splitting up a little bit. But we now have the KV-8 coming onto the field for Cruz. Should be able to go finish off things in the south. The pilots are going to repair the second half track. Panzer IV does manage to fend off the infantry. And the Grenadiers are going for the victory point as well. MG-42 set up right there in the center. And the KV-8, let's see what it does. KV-8 is in an excellent spot. He does have a pack gun to deal with, but the KV-8 can clear out pack guns very quickly before it even takes too much damage. And we see a reconnaissance pass coming down for Jessalyn right through the center of the map. Can he actually see the KV-8? I think he might have actually seen the KV-8. Gets another Grenadier squad to replace his losses. And the, uh, the half-tracks are now fully repaired, and they're moving down to the south. MG-42 opening up in the center. Forcing away the AT gun, and the KV-8 is moving down. Flamethrower going off the Grens. The Grens are trying to retreat, but down they go very quickly to the KV-8. That is quite unfortunate here for Jessalyn. MG-42 also packing off the pack gun and Panzer IV, trying as much as they can to shoot at the KV-8. Both shots bouncing off. Second shot from the pack manages to get a penetration. Panzer IV penetrates as well. AT guns are set up in position to get that uh, Panzer IV out of there. Two shots fly off and bring the Panzer IV down to about half health. The KV-8 also took a little bit of damage. It's at about 75% strength, but it backs off. Shock troops and conscripts pushing down south. The Grenadiers and Veteran C3 unable to do much against the shock troops. Flamethrower half-track moves in. The Grenadiers are down to one man. Very risky here for Jessalyn, keeping, on, keeping, ah, keeping it on the field. Flamethrower going off on the shock troops. The shock troops move forward, shooting at the half-track, managing to do quite a bit. We see the uh, Pyos with Minesweeper revealing a mine right here up in up in the uh, road. Looks like the they are actually going to go for it. The KV-8 swings around in the center, crushes a little bit of hedges, opening up the uh, the approach completely. So he's actually crushing all the hedges. The Pyos do manage to clear out the mines, but the half track is now at the mercy of the KV-8. The KV-8 actually ignores the half track and goes for the Grenadier squad. Grenadier squad getting burned alive. It is a veteran T3 squad. Jessalyn does not want to lose this, but no option is given to him. Down goes the Grandier squad, and that is all she rode. We see a uh, anti-tank strafing run coming down into the center. Manages to do a little bit of splash damage there to the troops. Nothing too severe, and the KVA just shrugs that off. Flamethrowers and Panzer Force just burning troops in the center. The AT gun backs off, and the conscripts are nearby. Maxim Machine Gun opening up on uh, Grenadier Squad going into the church. The KV-8 has taken some damage, so it looks like Cruz wants to get the uh, the repairs going. And up in the north, a Conscript Squad is retreating in the face of an MG-42, apparently. 
Conscript squad at one man, forced to retreat. Combat engineers got a little bit of repairs done on the KV-8, but nothing too severe. Or, well, nothing too uh, considerable. And the Grenadier squad once again gets caught out of position by that KV-8. KV-8 is now in hot pursuit, literally hot pursuit. Down to one man, that uh, Grenadier squad is not making it out of there. Off goes the flamethrower. Whoa, actually barely makes it out. Can he make it out completely? Looks like he will. MG-42 is a different matter, however. <laughs> Instant retreat there for Jessalyn. The KV-8 burns it a little bit, kills one of the men. Might even kill a second one. Panzer IV goes charging up to the north, trying to get on top of that KV-8, but the KV-8 is just simply throwing flames at it, making it a little bit hot. Switches to its main gun and is going to shoot at the Panzer IV. The Panzer IV is going to get shot at by both AT guns and the KV-8. The KV-8 is now actually going to pursue the Panzer IV. Panzer IV trying to get out of there. The KV-8 does not have a superior gun, so it needs to back off. Takes a little bit more damage from the Panzer IV, and the KV-8 is now down to about 20% health. AT gun is in the zone. Shots continue to fly from the Panzer IV, but the Panzer IV gets the hell out of there. It doesn't want to get sniped by an AT gun. And we have a second Panzer IV. A Panzer IV? Yes, a Panzer IV on the field for Jessalyn. Center map. AT gun covering with the Maxim machine gun in the house. Down south, half track still. Never, probably never going to get upgraded. It's just, you know, being used to reinforce and to harass. Goes into the center, AT Gun takes a shot at that Panzer IV, Panzer IV gets damaged, AT Gun loses the arc of fire, the uh, Maxim machine gun is now getting assaulted by the Panzer IV, second AT Gun up in the north, turns around, takes a shot at the Panzer IV, nails it in the rear armor, AT Gun down south, turns around, gonna get a shot in the front of that Panzer IV, Panzer IV trying to get out of the arc of fire, manages to get out of there before another shot goes off, the AT Gun is set up in a nice position where it cannot get flanked, well not flanked but you know circle strength because it's near the, uh, the hedge. And the KV-8 is actually now on the hunt for this Panzer IV, switches to its main gun, and is going to try to catch it out of position, manages to catch up with it. Going to take a shot. The shot doesn't actually land on anything. And the, uh, the KV-8 is just going to steamroll through the, uh, the hedge. Nope. Oh, very nasty and sneaky tactics there by both players. <laughs> Kuz uh, shot through the hedge, the uh, Panzer IV shot as well, so shooting to where they saw the tank last, but doesn't actually manage to get anything. MG-42 up in the north, getting caught by the Maxim machine gun, very out of position, might actually go down, hits retreat, makes it out of there barely as the Panzer IV moves in to fend off that Maxim machine gun. Up in the far north, Conscripts just capturing. And victory point wise, we have 402 for Cruz and 202 for Jessalyn. So Cruz sitting in a very comfortable position with a 200 point lead. Half track up in the north, forced to retreat. Conscripts Ura forward trying to catch that Panzer IV. They do not manage to get in range. And the Panzer IV just kites them and gets a kill on one of those. Center point. Ooh, half track goes a little bit too aggressive. And down it goes to both AT guns. Set up. Right in the same spot, a little bit too risky to have them together, but they managed to sneak a kill there on one of the half-tracks, which is very nice for Cruz, and it's one less thing to deal about to deal with. Uh, reconnaissance flight right through the center. Excuse me. And more mines getting laid down for Cruz, regardless whether uh, Jessalyn has his uh, minesweepers, which is always nice to see. What is this? Why is there... Container here. Okay. No idea where that came from. Probably there for a while, but I had not actually noticed. It. Whatever. Shock troops up in the north, running into that flamethrower half track, flamethrower half track, trying to get away. The KV8 isn't. Well, this time it's not hot pursuit. Now it switches to the hot pursuit, and the MG42 is actually going to get either killed or forced off the field. Flamethrower goes off, down to three men. Down to two, a lot of damage. Retreat hit, they pack up and run away. Flamethrower goes off for one last burst, does not manage to ignite that guy. He catches a little bit on fire, but he's quite fine. Panzer IV moves up to the north, trying to crush, crush the uh, shock troops. Might actually be able to get the crush there right in front. No, KV-8 switches to its main gun, shoots. Oh, what's going on? No, not sure why it stuttered there. Keeps doing that, doesn't it? I've actually had that happen in a lot of replays, but... Uh, that's just a graphical thing, but oh well. Doesn't affect us too much. We can tolerate one or two of those at most. Anyways, uh, Panzer IV and uh, KV-8 exchange a little bit of blows there. The uh, KV-8 does not have a strong weapon, so it uh, 
Doesn't really do much damage to the uh, Panzer IV. Panzer IV is at about 75% strength, so it backs off around there. Maxim Machine Gun in the center. We see a strafing run coming down on... I'm not entirely sure what it was on. Maxim Machine Gun in the church, getting shot at by the Panzer IV. We see an, a, a Maxim Machine Gun running down to the cutoff point. Trying to clear out that uh, pack gun, but not managing to do so. Only getting themselves killed down to one man. Can he make it out? Flamethrower half track is running in to try to clear it out. Actually, it throws a burst on the uh, Maxim Machine Gun in the church. The KV-8 moves in, takes a shot, and we see a bombing run. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was amazing. That was a magnificent bombing strike there for uh, Jessalyn. Clears out the KV-8, clears out an AT gun. Collapses the church, killing a Maxim machine gun all in one blow. That was quite impressive. Very nice. I mean, compare the effect of that bombing run to the uh, the, the railway artillery. I mean, yeah. Railway artillery just doesn't cut it. However, Cruz does get himself an IS-2 on the field. So, even though he did suffer a big blow right there, he's not out of it. Couldn't even hear the siren. <laughs> kind of a bummer, yeah. A little bit of a uh, mishap there for a Cruz, and look at the uh, the carnage left there. Wrecked the tank, collapsed the entire church, all the units just crawling there with a destroyed 18 gun. That looks like a bloody battle there. All settled by one bomb. So the IS-2 now taking up the role of the KV-8, trying to dislodge that MG on in the top, managing to uh, force it to back off at least. And we have troops, conscripts just moving around in the north for uh, Cruz, trying to recapture points. Panzer Force, still the only thing on the field for Jessalyn. One of them is damaged on the engine, so it's not quite powerful. Strafing run moves into the center. The IS-2 moves down south a little bit. This approach is completely open, even though you still see, you know, hedges and things. It has been crushed by the KV-8. Grandier squad will not make it out of there. There's a shock troop in the way. Down it goes. And the combat engineers will be uh, capturing that. Shock group's also going down south to the munitions. Probably also going to be taking something down there to the victory point. And more mines getting laid down all over the place for Cruz getting a second combat engineer squad with minesweeper. So very nice. I approve. I like. What was that? This now belongs to the people and workers of the. I heard something. Explode in a rather loud manner. I don't know. I missed it. I just heard it. Whatever. Panzer four up in the north. Veteran C2 with those very nice armor skirts. Look at that. Yeah. Very sweet. Pushes away a, uh, a conscript squad, although it's still trying to truck on. It uh, pushes forward, trying to thread the... Uh, Close the threat of an 18-8, gets shot again, down to two men, down to one on the retreat. Very uh, risky there, but it does get better in C3, so it's quite fine. IS-2 is just roaming around in the center, crushing more hedges as it can, as it wants to. And Panzer IVs are moving around in the center, trying to dodge the uh, the wrath of the IS-2. Oh, IS-2 nails the pile squad as it turns the corner, forces it away. Half track down south gets the hell out of there as it saw the IS-2 shoot. And center point, we see another pilot squad trying to go for the point. And the uh, the IS-2 is just circling around. Shot flies at the pilots but misses. Up in the north, the veteran C-2 pan uh, not panther, uh, tiger. Not why? What's wrong with me? Panzer. <laughs> Panzer four. Gonna now have to deal with the IS-2. The IS-2 shoots, does a little bit of splash damage as you can see. Panzer IV continues to back off. Can do damage to the IS-2 with its weapon, but cannot hope to beat it on a one-on-one -on -one fight. Would maybe have to circle strafe it while this is immobilized in some way or something, but even then, it's still a threat. Uh, down south, half-track. Looks like it took an 18 to the face, but the uh, conscripts make it out of there as the Panzer IV moves down to try to support. Mines laid down all over the place here for Cruz, which is very nice. We got mines here, mines here, mines up there. We have mines everywhere, right here. More mines here, more mines here. So yeah, very aggressive mining. More mines over here. Yeah, look at that. That's that's just beautiful. It's very nice to see. 
Still, I mean, uh, Jessalyn does have his own Minesweeper, so some of those mines will be caught. However, the IS-2 crushes the hedges once again, opening up the entire map. Catches the half-track, very out of position. Now it's going to go down. Half-track doesn't even have any opportunity to run. Although it does manage to absorb an entire hitch just by getting the engine destroyed. Coax shell gun goes off and just kills it off. <laughs> and one last shot. But this does let Cruz push into the center with his Panzer IV. As he notices that the IS-2 is up north. There are a lot of mines in the path, however. But the Panzer IV definitely maneuvers through the minefield. And gets himself on the other side of the house. Trying to clear off that Maxim machine gun. Also doing a lot of damage to the house. We see a Panther on the field now. So... Tier 4 down for Jessalyn. He needs that Panther to try to outmaneuver and kill off that uh, IS-2. The IS-2 is slowly lumbering its way up to the north with an AT gun there for support. The Panther notices that, takes a shot, detonates a mine as well, getting a damage on the engine. Very nice there for Cruz. More shots flying off from the IS-2. The Panther shoots back in retaliation. The Panzer IVs are barreling down on the IS-2. A very nice shot there from the IS-2. Takes out one of the Panzer IVs. Second Panzer IV moving down south. It did hit a, uh, a mine, however, that's why it was heavily damaged. Panzer IV, better T2, turning around, exposing its rear armor. Down goes the uh, AT gun, but the IS-2 just moves forward and is going to take care of this Panzer. There it goes. Panzer destroys, or gets a destroyed engine. The uh, IS-2 is taking some damage from the Panther. So it's not completely home free here. But finishes off the Panzer IV. It's now going to turn its sights on the Panther. The Panther will be left to be... For the meantime, as he hears another bombing run coming, bombing strike coming down. Boom, a nice bombing strike right on top of this Panzer IV. Cruz, however, did hear this and backs off in time. Sending his combat engineers to repair. Both squads are there, so they could be able to repair this IS-2 very quickly. However, they're actually moving. Uh, there they go. They now actually realize, wait, wait, we need to repair. They are down to one, one man each, so they won't repair at full speed. But, you know, they're still rather fast. Shock troops, Maxim machine gun, conscripts, and AT gun moving into the center. Panther backing off, getting repairs by the Pios. Three Pio squads on the field, in fact, for Jessalyn, but he has, in fact, lost all combat infantry for the most part. Does have one Grenadier squad left and some MGs, well, one MG to be exact. Grenadier squad coming in, mortar as well on the field, so that's nice. But yeah, I mean, he is going to start conceding a lot of territory. Victory points. Cruz is sitting comfortably at 380, while Jessaling is now about to be dropped under 100. He's at 101 right now. So he still has time since he has one point. So the bleeding is slow, but he's running out of time. Slowly but steadily. Panther, now fully repaired, running down south, forcing away a conscript squad as Grenadiers run into them. Pyos moving across the way. We see a incendiary round coming right on top of the Pyos for Jessalyn, trying to catch them, but, uh, I mean, it is an incendiary round. It's more intended for stationary weapon teams that take a while to move. So the Pyos, one of them manages to get past it and uh, go for the cap of the victory point, while the other two retreat as they found themselves in the target area. Panther in the center, IS-2 still getting repaired at about 75% strength. We also see a half-track coming onto the field for Cruz. I don't think we're going to be seeing flamethrower engineers being tossed into this, considering that, well, both engineers are currently with uh, minesweepers, and that would require building more. So this is probably just for uh, defense, and he may go for the upgrade of the anti-air package, considering that there is the... Uh, the, the doctrine that Jessalyn went for with a lot of planes, so maybe what he's going for. However, the half-track takes a shot, takes a second shot, and goes down very quickly to the pack gun. So whether that was the intention or not, it is no longer really a, uh, a point of <laughs> contention here, so it doesn't matter. No longer relevant. So AT gun manages to take some shots at that uh, IS-2. IS-2 going to back off again and probably get some quick repairs. Conscripts push forward, getting on top of the... Uh, the pack gun, incendiary barrage coming down on top of something. What is it coming down on? Up in the north, the MG-42 gets cleared out. Maxim machine gun barely ekes it out alive with one man left. So it looks like Cruz is trying to go for the uh, victory points and uh, seal the deal rather quickly. 
Grenadiers down south capturing. We see a major engagement in the center. Panther and IS-2 duking it out with a pack on there for support. IS-2 has taken quite a beating. It is down to about 40% health. Shot flies off. Pack gun misses. The Panther continues to push forward. And the IS-2 is down to about 25% health. Needs to back off, get out of there, and, uh, well, and repair. Grenadiers down south running into the shock troops. The shock troops win the fight. Grenadiers forced to retreat. Pio squad moving in to relieve them, but, well, they're just going to get themselves killed. They stop at the munitions. And the shock troops retreat as they notice themselves down to three men, so they're going to get some reinforcements. Panther in the center moves in, takes some shots at the combat engineers. Combat engineers cancel building a mine that they were doing. Don't want to get themselves killed. drink. And an AT gun moves down south, sets itself up in a nice angle, can shoot at the panther right now. The panther will take a... well, actually it won't take a shot right now. There it goes. Shot goes off, but it misses completely. Panther just backs off and will uh, will not be taking any damage. One man piles quite up in the north. And we see that... Uh, Conscripts down south. Oh. oh, that was bad. So we saw Jessalyn calling down an anti-tank uh, strafing run down south, which also does a lot of damage to infantry. And since it's a little bit of splash damage, it actually ended up hitting his own Panzer Grenadier squad, forcing a retreat there, not allowing him to cap that point. Currently, we have a 1-1 split on the points, so nobody is bleeding, but Jessalyn is down to 48 points. Again, he's running out of time, and... Uh, May start to get a little bit desperate here. Panther, gonna get rushed by the conscripts. The conscripts just go straight at it and are forced to retreat. Down to two men, might even die. Panther doing quite a bit of damage here with the pack on for support. But no, they make it out of there just fine. You have orders. And the mortar for Jessalyn has actually been doing quite a bit of work. Seven kills up to now. And, uh, you know, trying to clear out those AT guns. IS-2 on the field, moving around, going up to the north, and it runs into the Pios in the center. Pios take a shot, forced to retreat, and Jessalyn currently has one point as nobody else has another victory point. Captures the one down south, so he's going to start bleeding Cruz for a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be for too long as a Maxim machine gun pushes it to the center point to try to get the cap. We still have that pack gun there now cloaked, though it reveals itself. And shots fly from both parties. Grand Ears up in the north, trying to get chased down by the IS-2. The IS-2 unfortunately does not oh, does not have very fast turning on its uh, turret. So it allows these guys to get alive just barely, but they get out of there alive. And the MG-42 up in the north might actually be taken here from Cruz, which would be very unfortunate for Jessalyn, as he does not have a lot of infantry troops to be able to cap. And if an MG-42 set up on a point, which just be ridiculously annoying to deal with, Maxim Machine Gun in the center does get cleared out. Cruz uh, getting a little careless there in the center point. Panzer Grenadiers push up into the center point as Grenadiers move in behind it. And they're trying to clear out those AT guns. We have the IS-2. Shot goes off. Flies into one of the Panzer Grenadiers. Panzer Grenadiers back off. Get themselves a little bit clumped up here. The IS-2 might actually shoot them. Ooh, very lucky Panzer Grenadiers there. They were a little bit too clumped up. Panther pushes forward. We'll get some shots off on that IS-2. IS-2 bouncing that shot from its armor. We'll turn its gun. There goes on the Panther. The Panther taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, AT gun behind that. Shooting at the Panther. Getting some more damage done. And we see a second Panther coming onto the field for Jessalyn. So he wants to be able to get a kill on that IS-2. Even though um, the, uh, there's enough resources already on the field for Karus to be able to get a second one. Bombing strike. Okay, well, nice bombing strike there for Jessalyn, but Cruz manages to move most of his stuff out of the way. Takes a little bit of splash damage on one of the members of the AT gun, but that's about it. Loses enough members that he now has enough to get a IS-2. Although he actually still has a little bit of leeway there on that uh, population cap. But now we have two IS-2s on the field for Cruz, and well, there's two Panthers on the field for Jessalyn, so that's nice. Second Panther moves into the center. 
But against two IS-2s, that is going to be very difficult to deal with. Shock troops for um, for Cruz move down south, go decap that uh, cutoff point, cutting off the entire southern portion of the map. For Jessalyn, cutting off those resources at least for a while. Shock troops getting engaged by the Panthers. The Panthers are not the best anti-infantry, but they're not the worst. They can do, you know, quite a bit of work. But um, the Grenadiers, however, suffer at the hands of the Shock troops, and down they go, allowing the Shock troops, in fact, to even capture the point before they're even forced to retreat. IS-2s move into the center, a uh, crew shot goes off on that pack gun, getting that IS-2 stunned in the center of the battlefield. And the uh, the AT guns, Panthers, and IS-2s shoot at the, uh, not Panthers, the AT gun, the and the IS-2s shoot at the Panther as he approaches, forcing it to back off a little bit, so both Panthers are a little bit damaged. Panthers, man, I am all over the place with my naming of units today. And an incendiary barrage falls right on top of where the pack on was. However, it is cloaked and moves out of the way. Very slowly, since it is cloaked. But that makes it a little bit harder for Cruz to notice where it is and take it out. Down in the far south, we have a panther just moving around. Grenadiers, not Grenadiers, conscripts. Ura forward trying to get on top of the panther. We see a uh, strafing run coming down on the conscripts. The conscripts will get pinned down, and they do. And that forces them to retreat, as the Panther could have actually gone and crushed them. As, as they were pinned, when they're pinned, they don't actually move even out of the way of vehicles. So it's a, uh, a nasty maneuver to do as well. Artillery strike right on top of the Panzer Grenadiers, capturing the strategic point. Only, shot, only one shot goes off and nails two of the men, but does not manage to get the kill on that. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Sneeze. Uh, Mortar taking some shots at the AT gun, but it manages to get out of the uh, well, of the area. I'm pretty sure it's been it's using an actual barrage rather than standard uh, fire. And we see the MG42 that got stolen by Cruz going up to the north. Gonna not gonna go capture that uh, victory point. And this is going to start bleeding uh, Jessalyn once again. He only has one point down south. Panther is trying to stop those shock troops from capturing anything down in the south. But again, he doesn't really have a lot of combat infantry to be able to fight and capture points. He has one Grenadier and one Panzer Grenadier. He's getting himself another Grenadier squad to add to his forces. But this MG42 up in the north is going to be very annoying because it's going to be very difficult to actually get on top of that point. So with two point captures... Cruz is once again bleeding Jessalyn, who is now down to 45 points and is running out of time very quickly. He is now, I should say, now in a desperate position. Panther manages to catch one IS-2 uh, behind as it goes to try to get the kill on the second one that is currently damaged. Shock Troop down south is uh, trying to decap that point to, stop the, uh, to get the bleeding a little bit further. Manages to get the decap. The IS-2 is now being assaulted by two Panthers at the same time. Whoa, nice bombing strike there by Jessalyn. Gets clear of one of the AT guns. This IS-2 might actually go down. Second IS-2 moves into support. Panthers are both very heavily damaged. The IS-2 is managing to actually fend them off quite successfully. Second IS-2 takes down one of the Panthers. Second Panther, Veteran C2, is trying to back off. But the IS-2 is now in hot pursuit. The Pios down south managing to capture the point once again. As the center point is captured by Jessalyn, stopping his bleeding. Down to 28 points, but that Panther is gone. I don't think it's going to be able to make it out of there. Grenadiers push forward, trying to get a uh, Faustoff, I guess. But the uh, Panther is still alive, gets a crew shock on one of the shots. IS-2 shoots. Down goes the Panther, and the Faust does not actually get the crit on the IS-2, which means that Jessalyn is in a horrible spot now. Loses all his tanks, loses his Panzer Grenadiers in one engagement. Not exactly sure where that was. Maybe right there in the center as they capped, potentially. But yeah, he only now has two Grenadier squads. The northern point is probably going to be out of uh, capping range. As we do have a mortar up in the north, however, just taking shots. Oh, very nice accurate shot there on that Maxim machine gun. Might be able to clear it out. But we see the uh, combat engineers going for the center point for Cruz. Once he captures that, he's going to be able to bleed Jessalyn once again. And Jessalyn... Really has not much as far as response goes. 
T-34 getting produced for Cruz just to bolster his forces even further. Combat engineers repairing the IS-2s, getting them back in full working order, even though they have nothing to fear out right now. There is a pack gun still, pack gun that has actually gotten veteran C-3. It's done quite a bit of work, killing two vehicles. But, I mean, even that just cannot really hope to stand against two IS-2s at the same time. Grant's trying to go for the center point. They managed to stop the cap from those conscripts. They're going to stay there and duke it out for a little while as troops move in to support. Second Grenadier squad moves in, but we do have an IS-2 nearby, which will move in. Take a shot. Down goes to one man, that Grenadier squad. Grenadier squad going to force to get out of the field if he doesn't want to lose it. Second Grenadier squad moves in to relieve them, but, well, going up against the uh, IS-2. They only end themselves end up getting themselves killed. Down to 25 points for Jessalyn. Uh, Southern Point also gets decapped, which means that the points are bleeding two per tick. Pyos managed to go to the Northern Point. Gonna be able to get the uh, decap on that, stopping the uh, the bleeding to one point per tick, and leaving it at one point per tick uh, eventually. Although Cruz is gonna get this one, gonna bleed double points. 16 goes down to 14. Probably gonna go down to 12, maybe even 10 before these guys cap the Northern Point. Goes down to 12. Yeah, gonna go down to 10. Yep. Stops the bleeding to one point per tick. He has 10 more ticks left to go, but I don't think there's anything left that he can do. I mean, with one Grenadier squad and a mortar, Jessalyn says, good game, well played, and a very well played game. Cruz manages to take him out. GG says Cruz. And I'm not sure if we're going to wait until the bleeding. There's only four points left, so I'm assuming. Down goes the pile squad up in the north, in fact. Three points left. Nothing much else is going to happen, I don't think. And the uh, IS-2 just move around. Down to two points. Center point, we have a Grenadier squad going for the uh, point. And the playback is now over. So very nice game by both players. Very, uh, very intense fighting. And yeah, I mean, right there in that last match, Jessalyn just lost all hope as he lost his Panthers to the IS-2s. Which, to be fair, well, I mean, it is two IS-2s, which are just ridiculously strong. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send me, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.